A lot of folks showed up at a city zoning and planning meeting tonight. The item of discussion, Lamar Elementary's future. Last year, the Ed Rochelle Foundation said they would fund renovations to it to turn it into a homeless shelter. And the residents nearby, well, they're not happy about it. Our Madeline Jart shows us what they had to say. All they're doing is making it worse. Residents in the neighborhood that surrounds Lamar Elementary not holding back what they think of a new homeless shelter. Angelica Corona says they weren't even notified about the potential rezoning. We seem to be a neglected community. We come out, um, it's like the out of sight, out of mind community, it seems like. Residents citing concerns like homeless people using drugs or prostituting in their neighborhood, saying a homeless shelter will only bring more of that activity. It's about transients. We already have an influx of that going on. There's already crime. We've already got a, drugs a galore. And then to put something like this, it's just more of a burden on our community and nobody seems to want to listen to us. Carol Murphy with the Good Samaritan who would take over the building says their clients aren't the kind of people who would cause issues in the neighborhood. Homeless don't have money to rent houses. They don't have cars to drive by and shoot people. So a lot of the crime is our, it's already there. We're not bringing more of the same. Murphy says she understands the residents concerns yet believes the new shelter would strengthen the community. Anybody from the outside that's trying to hurt them, trying to deal drugs, trying to pick up one of our ladies, it's not going to happen. This is not what our community needs. We need something more. Heidi Havda also had something to say. I'm voting against the zoning board ordinance not because I don't believe in what y'all do, not because I don't think that your service is good, but somebody needs to help this neighborhood and this is not the way to do it. The rest of the board voting against the rezoning. Next, they'll take their recommendation to City Council. Madeline Dart, 3 News.